Well, hey fans, welcome back to another episode of Let's Talk Spoilers, and today we're talking spoilers for Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Now, when I first heard about this film, I definitely did not think it would work. Uh, it was brought up right around the time Tom Holland was announced as the new Sony Spider-Man who would be appearing in the MCU, and they said on top of that they were going to do an animated Spider-Man film. And I said, it's silly, they'd never do two Spider-Men at once, but they actually went through with it, and I have to say, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is my favorite Spider-Man movie overall. Uh, I believe I gave it a 10 out of 10 in my formal review, but yes, the story is fantastic, and it brings in a lot of Spider-Man from different universes. Uh, you have the main Spider-Man, who of course dies in the film early on, voiced by Chris Pine. You got Miles Morales, uh, Spider-Man, who's the main character, voiced by Shameik Moore. You got Peter B. Parker, Spider-Man, uh, voiced by Jake Johnson. Um, you got Kimiko Glenn, she voices Penny Parker. Nicolas Cage voices Spider-Man Noir. Um... John Mulaney voices Spider Ham. Uh, I feel like I'm missing someone, um, but it just bringing in all these Spider Men together. It is just a fantastic story. I like that they went with Miles Morales as the main Spider Man. He is a younger Spider Man than the one we're used to, a uh, person of color, and his. His moveset, his powers are a bit different. Unlike the other Spider-Men and women, he can turn invisible. He can also produce electrical shocks. Uh, he's gained a lot of popularity over the years. Uh, they now have him in his own Spider-Man game on PS4 and PS5. Uh, people are excited for him to eventually pop up in the MCU. And just the overall story is what's great and like the connections they make to other universes you of course see him fighting doc ock and dancing like he does in spider-man 2 and spider-man 3 and just like everything is thrown into this uh film and it just works it works and some of the touches i like that they made about the main universe is uh the doc ock in this universe is a woman named olivia uh, octavius i believe um and what I actually like about her, her tentacles aren't metal. They're made out of some kind of material that's kind of almost translucent, almost like jelly-like so they can stretch and move. Uh, but they're connected to, instead of a harness, it's like an armor. So it makes more sense for her to fight a Spider-Man because everybody's joke about uh, Dr. Octopus is that he's just a normal man with medical ten metal tentacles. So if you bypass those and you punch him in the face with the strongest Spider-Man is, he should die. But she has this armor that protects her body. So probably my favorite villain in the film. I think she's voiced by Catherine Hahn um, as well. The, the animation style is perfect. Everybody, it's, it, it, it looks like a moving comic book. So that was a great choice that they decided to make. But with the other characters, you... Penny Parker, who is an anime-style uh, Spider-Woman, she looks more like anime. Spider-Man Noir is in black and white. Spider-Ham looks like a cartoon. Uh, so these are definitely great choices uh, that they made. And they each have their own style. And I just remembered the one I forgot, Haley Steinfeld as Spider-Gwen. That's who I was forgetting. I can't believe I forgot her. She's like my third favorite character in the film. And she's getting her own spinoff later. But we'll, we'll get into that. But getting into spoilers. The whole plot revolves around Kingpin. Who during a fight with Spider-Man. His wife and son found out. His wife ran. They got in a car accident. They both died. He's grieving over their loss all these years later still. So he built this or paid for his scientists build this giant dimensional collider to open up portals to new universes so he can find another version of his wife and son. And that is the inciting incident when they're testing it that all these other spider people come to the main universe and that universe of Spider-Man gets killed, forcing Miles Morales to take over. Even though he doesn't really know what it means to be a hero yet. Um, 
and he gets the hang of it thanks to hanging out with all the other spider people helping him out uh we get to see like all the traits are there his uncle who in this universe is the prowler of course working for kingpin nobody knows but it's an important moment in the film when his uncle is chasing him because it's up to him to kill this new spider-man he takes off his mask and he's like hey it's me and of course just sad moment and kingpin shoots him which the scene works and it's very sad but what i don't like is he's wearing his prowler uniform when he gets shot so it's like how in the world is your your uniform is not bulletproof you're just going out just possibly getting killed at any time like with weak armor uh so i didn't care for that part but i like the moment um another interesting detail that i had to look up because i was wondering his uh father's name is jefferson davis i believe but he goes by miles morales which is his mom's last name and after looking up it's because he didn't like that he kept being like they kept making the joke oh your name is miles davis huh uh, like the uh the singer so he decided all right i'll go by miles morales my mom's last name and apparently that happens a lot in hispanic culture and is it's, it's a neat little easter egg uh for you there but the music in this film is great. There's a lot of hip hop, a lot of R and B. The needle drops blend in perfectly. The um the the names are also slightly different because it's in his universe, for instance, Coca Cola is like Coca Soda. So they put those little Easter eggs all throughout to let you know that the universes are different. Um now the thing about spider-man into the spider-verse is it was so successful it won an oscar for best animated picture people started to believe in sony again they made sadly that terrible venom movie and the sequel to venom was terrible but after making this sony's like we, we can do this we don't need marvel and everybody's like yeah i mean you, you don't need marvel but you do but we want to see this in live action and now uh, three years later, we're getting <laughs> Spider-Man No Way Home, which is tentatively, 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 I messed that up, tentatively looking like a live-action Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Hopefully, we're getting Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield back as their version of Spider-Man in this film. And I have a hint that since everybody knows they're going to be back, they're not the kicker. The kicker is we're going to get a live-action Miles Morales or somebody who we have not seen on film yet taking place in spider-man no way home and after this i think he has one more film with marvel before sony takes him back pretty much completely into their spider-verse and i do think their live action spider-verse which is going to be venom spider-woman morbius uh craven the hunter silver and black i think they're also going to cross over with this animated universe and that'll be great and the reason i believe that is because they are working on a spider-woman film and Spider Woman is going to be in the next Into the Vi Spider Verse sequel. Which, by the way, I have two ideas for the title. Since this one was Spider Man Into the Spider Verse, you're going to get the typical Spider Man Return to the Spider Verse. We'll see how that happens. Uh, because they do sit up at, at the end. Uh, Spider Gwen opens the portal somehow and she's like, Hey, Miles, you got a minute? So, yeah, Spider Man. Return to the Spider-Verse or Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. And maybe it will take place across multiple dimensions as opposed to just in his own. Uh, but like I said, Spider-Woman is confirmed. The Japanese Spider-Man is confirmed. I think Peter B. Parker, Jake Johnson is confirmed to return along with Spider-Gwen. And on top of this, after this film, we're supposed to be getting a female-centric like Spider-Verse film. Which will have Spider-Gwen, Spider-Woman... Uh, Cindy Moon Silk. Uh, Penny Parker has not been confirmed, but it would be great if she appeared, especially if we're doing all these female versions. Um, and yeah, like I said, I just thoroughly enjoyed this film. Uh, definitely recommend it for everyone. Um, but that is it for me, guys. Uh, remember, you can. Uh, View this spoiler review on YouTube and the blog flipfrogllc.com slash flixfrog. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Reddit. 
And please, pretty please, everybody, hey, come here, listen. Make sure that you subscribe. Yes, subscribe to the YouTube channel, the Facebook page, everything. Make sure you like, comment, and share. Uh, the next Let's Talk Spoilers I'm going to do is Eternals. Eternals. Hopefully that one doesn't drag on too long. Uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. But until next time, I'll be seeing you.